Hi, this is Wynn Claybaugh. Welcome to my Best of Masters weekly audio blog for AmericanSalon.com. Next up is one of my favorite clips from the last 20 years of inspiring interviews from Masters Audio Club. Annie, when you first got into this, um, we've already talked about this, that you were uh, involved in color and perming. Now, that just really goes against what we think of as the Sassoon approach, which was cutting. Was that where you were in the very beginning? Was well, that your passion? obviously, I, at the beginning I started and I did cutting like everybody else because that was what everybody did. And um, even at that time, Vidal had people that specialized in color. And there was one guy in particular that was called Lawrence Taylor, who was the person that was controlling all of that side for Vidal. There really wasn't many people doing this. So when I finished my training, I thought, well, everybody seems to be doing cutting and they're all doing really well. Why don't I do the other side? Because I've always been very interested in colour. Right from a child, colour always fascinated me. I would always sort of twiddle and use paints and things and I'd always just do colours I would never actually draw a shape or anything it was always just colours merged together in sort of patterns I didn't sort of do things like other kids did like houses and people and things I was always doing odd shapes and things with colours and I suppose I've always been interested in that side so there was a natural artist in you I guess there was somewhere there (laughs) And did you know when you were a child that this is what you wanted to do, be in the hairdressing industry? I always liked hairdressing because I was always fascinated with hair. I would always be fascinated when my mother and my aunts used to come back from the hairdressers because their hair always looked so different. Going back to the 50s, you know, people in those days didn't really do their hair at home, not like they do now because Fidel hadn't actually invented the revolution then so it really did make a difference to how people looked when they came back from the hairdresser this revolution that you just mentioned when did that start and and what was your involvement in that it had already started and i joined but it hadn't really got to where everybody knows or what everybody thinks about it it really really took off the big one was really in 62 63 64 i think when people started you know with the really recognising the geometric cuts, the Mary Quant, um, the Five Point, and things like that, I think, which were the... The Five Point was obviously the trademark at the time, and Mary Quant was the first person he really uh, did geometric cuts on. So um, it was then when it really started to, to sort of take off, as, as we know it today and that is washing your hair and just blowing it dry or letting it dry naturally. Before that, you used to wash it and then roll it in rollers or put it in pinkos and then used to sit under this torturous hood dryer for half an hour. Or if your hair was long or thick, you could sit under there for an hour and come out looking like a red lobstery beetroot. So many of the masters that we've spoken of claim their success to getting started with Fidel and the Sassoon organization. We also keep running across people that still have such a loyalty to that upbringing, if you will. What was that that made it? I think it is because even today we carry on exactly the same philosophy that Fidel started. And it's really all attributed to discipline, and training and more training you can never ever stop training I mean we all still train now even I train and Tim trains it's just an ongoing thing there's always something else to learn and there's always something to find out and there's always something exciting to do I think when you stop wanting to find things out or when you stop getting excited about something and things that you're doing, then it's time to stop. I think that's a major message that Vidal himself addressed in the interview that we did with Vidal. Vidal.